Bonjour to the mornings, I Rubbing RX, and welcome to more Super Mario World. Last time we uh, went through the Valley of Bowser, and this time we're going to do a bit of clean up in the Valley of Bowser before continuing forward. Alright. So we want to take this over here. And do something like this. I think is what it said to do. Okay, so there's actually, I actually have to get into the hole. Wow, that's a renewable one on. through this. Oh, wait. Oh, that's why. <laughs> I realize these coins don't come back, so I assumed the uh, coin snake won't either. I was just worried about that boo coming my way before. This is just a shortcut to Larry's castle that would be easily missed because ghost houses don't have any indication that there's multiple exits. This one, uh, this one will be interesting to get through. Oh, I forgot to look that up. Time to get through this place with the Yoshi. Uh, speaking of Yoshi, does Mario, like, hit Yoshi on the back of the head to make his tongue go out? Or, or is that just... It's just what it looks like to me. But I'm sure it's more like he's just like, you go, and pointing, kind of like how it looks like he hits bricks with his head, but he actually hits him. With his, um, fist. I guess that's why there's wings. Those wings. I want them too or some shit. All right, so over here, there is a keyhole. Taking us to the Valley Fortress. With more spiked dildos. They are ribbed for your pleasure. I guess spiked for your pleasure. Uh, that sounds... Spike means something different, though, but so is ribbed. Sorry for killing you. Sorry for letting your soul step on that spiky bike. Hop, 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 hop. I like the sound dry bones make. Uh, do, you, do do bony beagles make the same sound? They do. They have the exact same sprite. That's horrifying. Oh boy. 
double timing here, and there's my timing. Was there a checkpoint? No. Hmm. If I die again, I'm going to go back to the top secret area. Actually, maybe not. There's a pretty good power up right away. Oh god, I forgot to, like, rush there. Was that where I got hit before? I don't remember. Or did I just not get hit before? Like, eh. Okay, this is a big rush here, and I didn't rush fast enough. Because they're solid objects, they crush you. <laughs> I have to do it again? Okay, that wasn't too bad. Oh, that's the end. Resnor. Sorry, Trent. Trent the Rango. Now, this does not take you to the place you expect it to if you've never seen the game before. This takes you to Bowser's back door. Which we're not gonna do. We are instead going to go to Larry's castle. Oh god, this one. Okay. I personally kind of like snake blocks. I think they're better than auto scrolling. Because it's definitely a different kind of challenge than auto scrolling. So there, you want to hop up there, but make sure you hop over before it covers where you're standing. This is going back down, so we will come across and wait for it to meet up with us. But honestly, this is a beautiful goodbye to this game. I think this is a great castle number seven. And I won't have had it any other way. Oops. Okay. Where will this take me? And what is this? Okay. Shoot. Magic Koopa, thank you. Gosh dang it. Okay. Sorry, I'm so quiet. I'm, like, focusing. And one thing that I do find weird about this castle is it brings back the fur. Oh, shoot. The first boss mechanic. Uh, I accidentally beat it there, but yeah.
I was defeated Larry Koopa in Castle Number 7. All that is left is Bowser's Castle, where Princess Toadstool is being held. Can Mario rescue her and restore peace to Dinosaur Land? I don't have a clever joke for this one. Sorry. And yep. We are now at the front door. With 69 lives. Next time on Super Mario World, we take the fight to Bowser. Au revoir.